Traffic congestion is a worldwide problem. But what if traffic weren't so unpredictable? On February 8, 2008, the world got its first glimpse of a developing technology that seeks to use real-time traffic information to improve everyday lives around the globe. The University of California, Berkeley, teamed up with Nokia and the California Department of Transportation, or Caltrans, on a research project that addresses gridlock with a new tool. Right now, most of the traffic information comes from loop detectors in the pavement, from video cameras, from fast track transponders on both cars, and this information is only available where there's infrastructure. So what GPS brings to the equation is the possibility to have traffic information everywhere where there's people with phones. For the February 8th Mobile Century field test, Professor Bayan's team of drivers carried GPS-equipped cell phones while they drove 100 cars along a 10-mile loop in the San Francisco Bay Area. All day long, the driver's phone sent positioning signals back to a command center in Union City. That data was instantly run through an algorithm that generated estimates of highway traffic velocity in real time. This information proved accurate against actual travel times researchers measured with the video data. The field test was a success. There has been a lot of research done on monitoring traffic with mobile devices. What Mobile Century enabled us to do on February 8th is to create a situation of traffic representative of the near future. And what that means is enough cars uh, per mile, in a high enough percentage of cars on the highway for us to monitor speeds of cars, to monitor extent of traffic jams, and to monitor travel time. So what does all this information look like once it makes it to consumers? Private companies like Nokia have all kinds of services in mind. By gaining the real-time traffic conditions, we can tell you which route is the best right now. We can tell you how long it's going to take you to get there. And not only that, but this device has your calendar on it, right? So in the future, if this is linked to your calendar, it knows where you are right now. It knows where you have to be. It can tell you, hey, you have to leave now because traffic's heavier than usual. It's going to take you longer to go pick up your child at preschool. Nokia is working through the California Center for Innovative Transportation, or CCIT, part of UC Berkeley's Institute of Transportation Studies. CCIT's mission is to put cutting-edge Berkeley research into products that improve people's lives. Projects like Mobile Century make that possible by bringing together the university, private companies, and public agencies such as Caltrans, a primary funder of this research. We're very interested in gathering data and we're trying to do that the most efficient way. So our current technology is loop detectors, and it costs a lot for capital, for installation, it costs a lot for maintenance. We're looking at other technologies that are out there using video, using magnetometer, but everybody here probably has a cell phone. CCIT, along with Citrus, the University of California's Center for Innovative Technology in the Interest of Society, and the Finnish agency Tekas, helped forge the partnership that brought traffic experts together with cell phone experts. And we're actively moving beyond the realm of phones as phones into the realm of phones as information gateways. And in particular, we're interested in Nokia Research Center in exploring this idea of using the phone as a sensor for the world that we live in. And Mobile Century, named for the hundred cars that the February 8th field test placed on the road, generated plenty of excitement transportation officials and technology and automotive professionals came from around California and the country to witness the experiment. Local, national, and international media outlets picked up the story. It may be a new way to solve traffic gridlock and you can help eliminate Bay Area congestion without getting out of your car. An experiment is underway that could revolutionize the way that we drive. If you're on Interstate 880 today, you might have seen these numbered cars driving up and down the freeway with UC Berkeley students at the wheel. CCIT Director Thomas West says this project resonated with the media, the transportation community, and the public because of its potential for broad societal impact. And it, what it really does is it opens up a new door for companies to develop services that would provide information to travelers so that they're able to better navigate, navigate the roadways. As with many technology-based services, 
personal privacy is a hot topic. Privacy has been foundational to this work from the beginning, and we've developed what we call privacy by design, where we try to minimize the amount of sensitive information that's ever generated, transmitted, or stored in the system. The less information that leaves the mobile device, the better from a privacy perspective. Academia, working together with private industry and public agencies, is the key to getting innovative research out of the lab and into the marketplace. CCIT's Thomas West says the next phase of the research, already dubbed Mobile Millennium for its thousand test subjects, will expand the test area beyond a controlled loop and also test the technology's ability to send data back to the phone users. And this is really about access to information that's accurate, that's reliable, and that's timely so that travelers can make smart choices.